It's the weekend, but I've still got a busy schedule ahead of me today. Earlier this week, I accidentally spilled the tuna salad I made for lunch in my backpack, so I took the risk and chucked my fishy backpack and laptop case into the washing machine. The community kitchen next to the laundry room is pretty much always vacant, so I filmed my next project video while waiting for the wash cycle to complete. Yes, I've been working on another software project recently that I can't wait to share with y'all. I'm also here to prep my meals for the week. I split the chicken to make half of it into paprika chicken tacos. It's also my first time making honey sesame chicken, so I think I probably didn't fry it long enough to achieve good results, but let me know since I'm no chef. Also, today is the day following the mid-autumn festival, so I wanted to try making snow skin moon cakes, which are no-bake, chewy, mochi-like balls filled with custard, and I pressed them into rabbits using a mold. In the late afternoon, I headed to Olin Hall for a laid midterm review and problem solving session. The TA even brought us gummy bears to cheer us on for the midterm coming up in two days. In the evening, I checked out the mid-autumn festival event in the glass pavilion with some of my friends, but I headed back to my dorm a bit earlier to eat dinner and grind more laid. Math is the subject I struggle most in. Let me preface by making it clear I picked a particularly eventful day to vlog. My morning started off with being 8 minutes early to my laid lecture. Immediately after was an hour of biochem. Today, the Hopkins Organization of Programming, which I am an executive board member of, is having a churros and chips giveaway, where our collaborator had ordered the food and we were just in charge of marketing and tabling. However, after a few hours of waiting and eating my small lunch of egg rolls, it turned out our collaborator had messed up and our snacks never came. Then I headed to physics lab, which I forgot to film, but it was a pretty easy assignment on Excel. When I returned to my dorm, I hopped onto biochem office hours on Zoom, where I was able to receive help on this week's problem set. There is actually another hop event tonight, a cupcake decorating competition. However, thanks again to my unfortunate streak, the cupcakes we ordered never showed up, so as a last minute plan, I bought cupcake liners from Charmar, the campus convenience store, and lugged my stash of baking supplies so that attendees could at least make microwave mug cakes. The event will be hosted at the lab, but first is the weekly executive board meeting for the hop, where we discuss the many events and planning. Then the mug cake making began. We challenged students to bake and decorate Barbenheimer-themed desserts using no measuring tools and endless creativity. Simultaneously, I happened to have an online training as a staff member at the Campus Recreation Center. Don't worry, I usually never double book myself, but for this hour, I had one earbud in while I checked on the students decorating and waited until the microwave was vacant so that I could heat up my simple burrito dinner I had prepped in advance. Of course, I had to make myself a glazed cupcake dessert as well. It's obvious there are some talented bakers here at Hopkins, and after a quick judging session by the committee members, we awarded the top contestants with Dino Waffle Makers, a handy beverage thermos, and these Halloween-ready pumpkin pie hats. We wrapped up the event for the night, but my night was yet to be over. I met up briefly with my co-founders of a startup initiative we're working on, and last but not least, finished the day with homework and studying. I'm starting this morning with a trek to the Bloomberg Center, where I have my physics lecture. However, this class is called active learning due to the interactive activities. Then, I walk through the Gilman Tunnel to have lunch with some of my friends in Levering. During the lunch break, my dad called me to get some help with Blender, but after that I had some time to do homework. My super nice laid TA often brings us candy for the session, but I had to run off to a meeting in Hackerman with my research PI immediately after. This evening is the monthly get-together of the Clark Scholars Leadership Council, where I represent the sophomore class in event planning. But then I heard there was free fancy food in Bloomberg. With a crab cake as a snack, I rushed off again to the local Japanese restaurant Kajiken because one of the startups I'm working for is having a team dinner. Since fewer members showed up than expected, we ordered every dessert on the menu using the team budget. My stomach was stuffed, but I decided to go rock climbing with my friend at the rec center. It was my first time, so I wasn't good or anything, but it sure was fun. When I got back home, I had a Zoom call with the startup team from dinner earlier, and then finished up the night with physics homework. Ran into my friend on the way to Laid this morning, and after that we had a group quiz in biochem. Today I packed miso soup, which I enjoyed for lunch with my friends in the common area. I returned to my room to focus on research a bit, but headed out later to exercise at the gym. I have one more class today in the Wyman Park building, where the sophomore cohort of Clark Scholars discuss drones and medical tactics. Then I went straight to a quick general body meeting for the hop, but it was raining when we got out. Tonight we're celebrating my friend's birthday by going to dinner at the Korean restaurant Kongpocha.
It's actually also another one of my friend's birthdays, so we secretly decorated his room SpongeBob SquarePants style and surprised him with a homemade cake. 